Hello everyone, I'm Jacob Landesykste, and I am here with the one and only Steven Gazinski, the writer, producer, and actor in Wet Work. What kind of experience do you have? I have actually produced another web series in the past. Um, I've directed a number of short films. I've been a writer on a number of projects. I've been a producer and I've been an actor uh, on film since 2009. And I started and I fell in love with being on set and I haven't stopped. What inspired you to create this product? There's been this love lately for these anti-hero type characters. Um, we've seen it with The Punisher, Deadpool, um, Venom, which is coming out later this year with uh, Tom Hardy, supposedly. Right. If you were going by black hats and white hats, they're going to be wearing gray. film that really got me thinking, okay, this is the structure, especially about Ben's character, was a movie that came out in 2016 called uh, The Accountant with Ben Affleck. And, uh, you know, as you know in the film, his character's autistic. And I thought, oh, that's a really cool concept. You have to, some people are just sociopathic or psychopathic, these types of characters. And so I decided to give Ben a little bit of a handicap. Um, and as you learn in the series, he got shot in the head, so he has some brain damage. I mean, he can function in so many words, but he's not, you know, he can't, he can't interact like you and I are doing right now. Right. Um, so what kind of themes are you wanting, so what kind of themes are you wanting to convey in wet work? Um, basically at the heart of everything, it's a redemption story. This man who has murdered people, as you see in the two teaser trailers, um, he right. blows them away and it seems very heartless, um, cold and calculated. I mean, he shoots a mom in front of her kid. But it just for everyone's sake, he was waiting till the kid was out of the line of fire so he wouldn't hit her by accident. He had one target, and as he said with the guy on the first one, I'm not here for them, I'm here for you. He has one target. He's laser-focused about everything. But in this story, he starts to realize that the system he's working for is not all that he thought it was. It uses him, it betrays him, it hurts him, and it hurts other people. And he's starting to see that because it hits a little too close to home for him. He goes through this whole process of, while at first it's revenge, he's like, oh, they used me, they need to pay for what they've done. And then he starts with this selfish act of wanting revenge, and then it turns into selfless because he's protecting this one person, the character of June's son. And he starts to care about her, and as the series progresses, he realizes, you know, she's she's more important than me. And he, at times, goes on these missions that could get him killed, doing the right thing for the right reason, right? Whereas at first, it's the wrong, it's the right thing for the wrong reason. Right. Um, how much of you are people going to see in what work? You have to be really vulnerable, and um, we do that both metaphorically and literally, um, so we're going to be touching on that both in the physical and the uh, emotional, so hopefully uh, people will enjoy it. Yeah. What are the next steps in this exciting project? Right now, we're just trying to crowdfund for our first episode, and once we have attained our goal, we're going to start shooting it. And once we finish, we've edited it. Um, we are deciding how we're going to share it with everybody else, whether we're just going to post it to YouTube or um, other social media video sites. Um, and also, we're going to keep crowdfunding for, we're doing it on an episode by episode basis. So that way we can uh, keep the ball rolling and finish out our season. Nice.